So, this beast. Yeah, I'm just looking at something that's it's been in the making for months, hasn't it? Yeah, so, like, I basically, as you know, you might not know, um, I've had a baby recently, and obviously my priority was to get things ready for the baby, but I also had that <laughs> bit of midlife crisis where I was like, this might be the last time I can really, for the near future, spend stuff on myself. Yeah. So, working hard, gigging hard, um, and have you, you know, we've both been there. When you've sort of got some money together quickly, you've gone out to a shop, you've seen a review and you think, I'll grab that and grab that and grab that and you put it all together and it sounds like, you know, yeah. it sounds like crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what happened was just each step, so amp, guitar, pedal board, literally planned it as meticulously as I could, tried things, um, and obviously this is a Gordon Smith guitar, mm -hmm. so custom made. Uh, we've got a good relationship with Gordon Smith through our Black Star. Yeah. Because uh, Black Star basically the took same, over Gordon yeah, Smith. Same bit, uh, so we've got a good relationship with them. So, um, really cool guys. So, originally I just went on the website, you know, I mean, specced one up. It, looking at it, I mean, you, I don't know if you can see from, from there, but in person, this is like a work of art to me. This is absolutely impeccable. Um, I mean, if you went through that, you know, with a microscope, you. I mean, it's literally a, an amazing build, handcrafted. It's just it's, so nice not to have any lacquer. It's just weird. Yeah, it, it's just totally. It's just <laughs> compared. Bare, it's just sexy purple. Yeah, back. it's like a really high quality, bit of, you know, furniture almost, isn't it? And so yeah, Gordon Smith guitars been around for a long time. Um, probably quite popular in the sort of seventies, eighties, with your sort of punk and indie and rock sort of stuff. But basically, they're a British custom shop now. Mm. Um, they do make their own standard models. There's a really cool shop called Richard's Guitars who sells, he like makes them himself, like gives them the spec that he wants and then sells them in his shop, which is mm. quite cool. But um, the only thing I'd say is when you go on the website and you're doing all the specs, like they only give you like a snapshot of what they actually do. When you actually talk to them, like pick up the phone, they will literally build anything, like absolutely anything. And um, obviously when I got this, took it to our tech mark at Eastbourne Guitar Workshop, he was just like floored by the quality, didn't really need anything to into it. Mm. Um, but yeah, this has basically come out. So I wanted a P90 and a humbucker. Yeah. Um, the rest of it kind of just happened by sort of accident. You know, once I <laughs> once I saw them post a picture on Instagram where they started experimenting with prototype matte black finishes, yeah. I thought that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, then I saw another guitar of theirs with like a bit of a cool retro sort of scratch plate. Yeah. Um, brass nut. It's just really cool woods. I don't know. It's just having the versatility of a P90 and a humbucker is just awesome. Yeah. Coil splits or taps. I never know which. Yeah. What that means. Um, different tones, different tones, different options. But yeah. Have a go. Yeah. What do you want? Give me something. Give me something. Anything. <laughs>
Done. <laughs> That's it. Done. Channel's That's, done. Absolutely done. It's ridiculous. I mean, obviously the guitar's doing so much for that, but um, pedal board wise, this has been another long project of mine. Yeah, that'll, I mean, be, that'll be another video for another time. Because, I know, we'll um, give you a little cheeky uh, clip of that in a minute, but uh, this is a whole different ball game. This is like, you could do a series on this board. It's absolutely immense. There's so much going on, but it's, it's it sounds horrendous. So basically, it, <laughs> guitar built how I wanted to, very lucky to, you know. Yeah, I mean, what's the wood, that. is it? <sighs> so it's mahogany, Yeah. Um, but I think the main difference is just the matte black finish, but it's like a, it's quite a thin neck. Yeah. So it, it it feels a lot faster than a, a you know traditional Les Paul kind of style. Yeah. Guitar. So it's just um, literally a two piece, isn't it? Like yeah. neck and body. Um, yeah, it's cracking, isn't it? I mean, it's just so versatile. Like P ninety humbucker coil split. It's not mm. a lot you can't really get out of it. Um, hard tail, so you can drop mm. D like one song. Drop A, C, um, drop everything one. But yeah, pedal board wise, that was like NRG FX. Um, yeah, in my opinion, probably the one of the finest <laughs> pedal makers, not just in England, but he's about to blow up surely because yeah. he's been on that pedal show recently and uh, in Guitarist magazine, and mm. we're just lucky enough to be in the same town as him. And, yeah, um, just I six mean, six months I've been going around to his. I know we've been tweaking things. We've, and we've been talking about this for ages. Like you know, we've always had a little, the odd update here, and like, oh yeah, this is going on on the board, and we're yeah. like, oh man, was it going to be ready? And it's like, it's probably I don't know six months easy that it's yeah. just been like bubbling away, but it's been well worth the wait, yeah. hasn't it? But so, anyway, I mean, if we focus on this today, mm -hmm. um, so just if you want to buy a guitar, like you can, there's nothing wrong with going out and buying a guitar on the shop wall. You mm. see one you like, you connect with it, awesome. Yeah. But for cheap, for, I'm not joking, this was cheaper than, I originally wanted like an SG, maybe with P90s. Mm. I basically got to design this and it was cheaper than a brand new <laughs> off the shelf Gibson SG. And yeah. uh, just for me, it was just cool having something that was, you know, I su support brands from all over the world, like, but it's cool when you can, you know, if you're in America, support your American brands, or when you're in England, you mm. know, why not kind of, you know, give your money to... Well, that's it. And the other thing as well is, is having something that's, it feels unique to you, like this yeah. is handmade, you know, there's probably not going to be another one exactly the same no. as this. And is, I mean, I love the the, the contrast. The, the, it's sort of like a nice matte black, so it's not like completely pitch black. It's like it's just nice. It's very cool. The cream, the dark red. That that it's a great little color scheme. It's quite classy. It is. It just looks really, really classy. And the brass nut, just little little touches. Tuners are just absolutely solid. I mean, you were gigging last night, weren't you? And you said yeah. you you hadn't hadn't taken this out of the bag since. And you just and they're not locking tuners. They're just sort of eighteen no, just to standard. one ratio tuners. So. Yeah. Uh, but it's just it just all screams quality. And, yeah, you know, it just, just feels it, doesn't it? Yeah, we actually haven't had to tune this actually. Every <laughs> no. just got it out and just start playing. So, so like I say, if you go and you know check out Gordon Smith guitars, mm. um, if what you see on the website isn't exactly what you want, just give them a message. Like I've been WhatsApping them, uh, probably mm. annoying them a bit over the last yeah. few months. But they're really cool guys. They will literally do anything, um, from pink guitars to. I've had all sorts of crazy conversations with them and like I say, if it's not on the website, they will do it um, mm. and they'll give you a full spec, full price. You can pay a little deposit and pay, you know, pay in stages um, or you can pay, you know, down the line mm. and um, that's great. they give you really cool updates. So yeah, just if you want something a bit unique to you, you want to build something to exactly how you want it, then definitely check them out. Yeah, yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, do some more playing.
we should play it out. We play you. We play you guys out. I mean, because this is this is insane. <laughs> That's just it comes out. Yeah. That is something else, isn't it?